In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. The law says, if you remember, that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave girl and one by his free-born wife. The child of the slave girl was born in the ordinary way. The child of the free woman was born as the result of a promise. This can be regarded as an allegory. The women stand for the two covenants. The first who comes from Mount Sinai and whose children are slaves is Hagar. The Jerusalem above, however, is free and is our mother, since scripture says, Shout for joy, you barren women who bore no children. Break into shouts of joy and gladness, you who were never in labor. For there are more sons of the forsaken one than sons of the wedded wife. So, my brothers, we are the children not of the slave girl, but of the free-born wife. When Christ freed us, he meant us to remain free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. The Word of the Lord May the name of the Lord be blessed forevermore. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forevermore. May the name of the Lord be blessed forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praised be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. May the name of the Lord be blessed for evermore. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth? From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from the dung heap he raises the poor. May the name of the Lord be blessed for evermore. Alleluia, alleluia. Because of your love, give me life, and I will do your will. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The crowds got even bigger and Jesus addressed them. This is a wicked generation. It is asking for a sign the only sign it will be given is the sign of Jonah. For just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. On Judgment Day, 
the queen of the south will rise up with the man of this generation and condemn them because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and there is something greater than Solomon here. On Judgment Day, the men of Nineveh will stand up with this generation and condemn it. Because when Jonah preached, they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, we heard about Jesus, who warned the people, especially the Pharisees and the teachers of the laws. Jesus talked about the kingdom of God, that good news he wanted to announce was a call to a conversion. He wanted the listeners to get converted. They were flocking around him because they got free food and free healing. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the laws lack their faith and refuse to believe in the truth that he has brought down upon them. They were stubborn and refused to follow to be true followers of Jesus because all the people had seen the miraculous deeds and good deeds Jesus had done. God would show them all the sign of all when they asked for another miracle. He would show them the sign of Jonah. And what does this mean, brethren? The giant well kept him in its belly for three days and three nights because he fled from the Lord and refused to work for God before the well released him on the shore. Jonah would go to Nineveh to preach to the Ninevites. So that they repented their sins. This is the sign of Jonah, which our Lord Jesus had brought into the world as the sign of his salvation. Let us not harden our hearts, but let us rededicate ourselves to God and follow the example of the people of Nineveh so that we regret our sins and seek for God's mercy and forgiveness. Brothers and sisters, let us follow in Christ's footsteps and do all that he has asked us to do. May God help us and be with us always. Amen.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day and take care.